What's up, Scorpio? It's West Coast Tarot getting ready to do a love reading for you. This will be centered around the person on your mind. Okay, you will know who this person is. This is for you and the person on your mind. I'm going to go ahead and treat this like a personal reading to so That way it's as personal as possible for everyone. So this is for the lovely sign of Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading, and it may not resonate with every Scorpio out there. But if you like my style and I vibed with you, please like and subscribe to catch future West Coast Tarot videos. If you're interested in any of the tarot decks that I use, or if you want to purchase a personal reading with me where I go more precisely into your situation, that information can always be found down below, as well as how to contact me with business inquiries. So guys, this is a general, as always in a general, rules can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross-watchers, re this very well may play out from your perspective. So please just apply it how it fits, and if it's not for you, it's not for you. Tell me about Scorpio and their person. What is the energy here with Scorpio and their person? What's Okay, so some of you could be um, at a distance from this person, meaning you don't live close by, um, or just emotionally, physically you are not connecting this to this person. This is definitely someone who you have shared fun times with, um, maybe even met in Vegas, okay? Or went to a concert or something very fun together. This is someone who can make you laugh. Um, and true gem, yeah. This is a one of a kind person. You feel like this is there's no other person out there for you but this person, but you guys are at a distance and it's physically at a distance or emotionally at a distance, okay? And this is what's bothering you. I feel like you're waiting for that ship to come back. This is your person, you know? This is how you categorize it as your person. So let's go ahead and get into their feelings about you. Tell me about this person, please. When they think of Scorpio, what are their thoughts? When they think of Scorpio, what are their thoughts? Definitely conflicted about you. <clears throat> I feel like this is someone who right now is thinking of more practical things. Could be busy at work with the base chakra. That's things that you need for survival. Yeah. <clears throat> this person right now, when it comes to the thoughts about you, this is someone patiently planning for their future, whether this is directly involved with you. But I feel like right now their focus is on, you know, practicality with the base chakra here. Um, they might see you as more of a long-term investment. But I feel like they're kind of conflicted and they're in their head over you and where the connection stands, okay? Why the Two of Swords, please? When this person thinks of Scorpio, what are their thoughts? Yeah, they're kind of just playing it safe. For some of you, this person has detached themselves from you and they are conflicted over it. They're, you know, I feel like this person's very conflicted over it. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of stagnation in this connection. And I feel like this person has a lot on their mind. Why the hangman? Please tell me more. Yeah, it's like right now this person, like I said, I feel like they're they're playing it safe. I feel like this is someone who, I'm not taking these cards because I only wanted one. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. But I feel like this person's not ready to give to a relationship right now. I feel like this is someone who's not planning for a relationship or planning for love. This is definitely someone who's very much so, Seven of Pentacles, base Chakra, planning for their future or building a name for themselves, okay? Tell me more, please, why the hangman? Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, the king of wands, he or she, is someone who could be a leader. Um, this is a very loyal person. This is someone who um, has a lot of responsibilities and takes care of the people that they love, takes care of the people that they encounter, that they have a relationship with. But this is also a problem solver. The king of wands is someone who likes to fix things and is great with, um, with resolution. So I don't feel like this is anyone that is, I don't feel like this person's angry with you. I don't feel like there's bad blood between the two of you. I really just feel like this is a very busy person. And I feel like this is someone chasing their goals and their dreams. And unfortunately, you know, maybe they had to put aside love for just a moment. And it's really hard to think that way. But if you think about it, let's say you're focused on, on um, career, 
you know, health, love, family, children, um, finances. When you focus on one or two of those, you get pulled away from the other. You know, you can gain weight if you're focusing so much on work or this and that. Or if you're focusing on children or career, you know, it's hard to focus on love. So it just, it kind of comes full circle and it's all about your priorities. But it's kind of good if for you in a sense because you guys don't want to be with someone who doesn't have their priorities together. And this is someone who knows that in order to build a firm foundation, they have to start from scratch and they have to build a sturdy foundation that, that can support. So this is someone who's very patient when it comes to love. Tell me... Tell me why the base chakra, please. For some of you, this could definitely be a third influence involved, okay? So for me, I feel like a lot of the, I feel like the third sword here is work. And keep in mind, a third influence can mean, yes, it can mean a lover or another partner, you know, a relationship, but it can also mean an environment, you know, a, a circumstance, friends, family, you know, things of that nature, okay? Why the Three of Swords? Please tell me more. Yeah, see, they're not able to give you the offer right now. And this is someone who feels like they don't have enough. Um, so they're trying to work to change it. Why the Seven of Pentacles, please? Ooh. Yeah, see... Some of you, you feel like a soul tied to this person, but this is someone who, I feel like they're either, they could be saving to buy a house, they're planning for the future, this is someone busy with children. I do feel like this is someone who will be open more to love in the future, but right now they're just getting pulled. Four of Wands, please. Yeah. And I feel like right now it's like they're just not able to, they're not emotional. Right now when it comes to emotions, they're very cold, okay? Um, this is someone who's using their head over their heart. And I feel like, unfortunately, maybe that's why you had to be released. Um, for some of you, this person could be have another partner at home that they're not happy with, but they're very emotionally unstable. King of Swords in reverse is not very nice. Just keep that in mind. Um, he or she is not very nice. Um, and also, I feel that this is someone just kind of not really giving to a situation. You know, just cold because they, they are focused on this future goal, this future balance. Okay, so let's look at if there's, let's look at the emotions, if there's emotions. Let's see what's there, okay? So tell me about this person. Tell me about Scorpio's person. How do they feel about them in their heart? So they definitely feel like things have changed between the two of you. Okay, the chariot. So you could be dealing with another Scorpio or a Cancer. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with that King of Swords there. I have all signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Page of... Yeah. Okay, I feel like this person is just... I feel like they need to reach their goals before they come back to you. Okay? I feel like this person something a new cycle has to begin i feel like once that is achieved once their goal is achieved i feel like there's potential for this person to come back towards you or to start to be open-minded to love again i feel like this person's closed off tell me more please how does this person feel about scorpio in their heart why the death card please how do they feel about scorpio in their heart yeah, they do feel a connection. You guys did make a connection. Um, this person feels like you are a true gem or you feel that way of them. There was an honest connection. Okay, but they need justice here. This could also be someone who is married, okay, for some of you. Um, but this person's trying to get balance in their life. And you may have met them at a time in their life where it was just all about fun times, you know, all about... Um, going out, having fun, but this is someone who is different. You know, this is someone who's putting their priorities together. So I don't feel like it's a bad situation. I don't feel like this person's like angry with you. Why the chariot card, please? 
Ooh, too many. Why the chariot card, please? How does this person feel in their heart? Yeah, they're not able to take action right now. More air energy. Yeah, they're not able to they're not able to manifest, okay? This person is waiting for success, triumph before they move forward, okay? Until they achieve this, I don't feel like things are going to change. Um Why the Ace of Cups? Yeah, see, King of Pentacles here. This is more earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn. This person wants to get to this uh, this epitome where they can take care of their family, where they feel that they have enough to give. I feel like once this person achieves it, that's when love's going to begin, okay? Tell me more, please. Why the King of Pentacles? Oh, too many, too many. But look what popped out, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, one of them, that was one of the cards that showed itself to me. That's interesting. Why the King of Pentacles? Yep. See, once they release their responsibilities, all the weight and heavy burden on their shoulders, I feel like they'll be able to give to the situation. And this is someone who will be very serious. Um, I feel like they will want to settle down long term. But right now I feel like they don't feel that they can give to that situation. They're not quite there yet, okay? Tell me more, please. Well, this person thinks of Scorpio. What are their intentions and what are their plans? Um, what... Oh, no, what are their intentions and any actions that they will be taking? What are their intentions and any actions that they'll be taking with Scorpio? Planned actions and attentions. Okay, the Empress. And one more, please. What are the intentions and any planned actions? So, so far we have the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy, the higher font Taurus, and five of swords. Just know this person is very much so conflicted. They could be very defeated at work. They could be super busy. Um, I feel like this is someone who does have good intentions towards you. I feel like in the future they do see growth and expansion, long-term relationship with you. But if this is someone who's already married, they could be very conflicted when it comes to you. Um, or this person is just simply defeated. This person is just worn out, and I feel like they could be exhausting themselves, okay? So let's clarify a little bit further. Tell me more, please. Tell me more, please, why the um, Empress? Intentions and, um, intentions and planned actions. Why the Empress? Yeah, it's definitely not over between the two of you. Um, this is someone just trying to birth something. Yeah, so, you know, it's like don't give up, but also don't put your life on hold, okay? Um, why the higher font, please? You don't want to stay stuck, not connecting with new people. You never know. You can meet a potential soulmate. Soulmates can come into your life for a reason or for a season, and that season can teach you something um, that would benefit this future relationship. But this person right now, I feel like, um, is totally focused on future, okay? And you want to make sure that you're in a good place yourself. You know, you want to keep busy, not always think of this connection. You want to be in a position that when this person is ready, you know, that they're lucky if you have the time of day for them. They're lucky if you haven't already met someone. Um, tell me more, please. Why the higher font? Yeah, growth and expansion. Beautiful. I don't really feel like this person has... Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, all these cards. I don't feel like this person has any um, negative thoughts about you. No. Yeah, I feel like there will be a new beginning. After this person achieves what they're trying to achieve, after they get the growth and expansion and they birth what it is that they want, there is potential here for a new beginning. Um, five of Swords, please. 
Yeah. They just have to re release themselves from what's conflicting them. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And that would, ex if that's a Capricorn, my God. Yeah. They're like so busy working. Um, that's all they do is work. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like until they release themselves, they feel like there's no hope. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some more messages for you. What messages do we have for Scorpio regarding their person? Famine. A time of limited opportunity, sacrifice, or change. The only resolution is to conserve all resources and seek greater opportunity elsewhere. Yeah, so your person is saving for a rainy day. And it could also be the pandemic. Um, maybe the pandemic has really, you know, hurt them. Um, maybe they're out looking for work. Or they're, they're hungry for more success, okay? <clears throat> uh, you're missing your person, but this is someone who's really just trying to be prepared and make sure they have a strong foundation, okay? Other messages, please. Ooh. It says, love. You may now find your soulmate and marry within 12 to 18 months or better your or better your present relationship. Your relationship your decisions means commitment harmony and security okay I did tell you guys I feel like this person wants to achieve something before they fully commit to you or come back to you you know and that might take a year a year and a half um, realistically and that's not anything that you should wait for you know this is not something you should wait for like I said you might meet some incredibly people between now and then and you may even forget about this person okay um, but whatever you learn, whoever you connect with, it's, it's all teaching you lessons. One more, please. What other messages for Scorpio? Okay, it says opportunity. Your planets are beginning to align, bringing you investments, real estate, money, and legacies. What did I say? I feel like this is someone who's trying to invest in real estate. Um, opportunity is coming into your life. Be wise enough to recognize it. A doorway is opening, a time for change. So your person's seeking out a new opportunity. And because of that, it's leaving you feeling hungry. Okay, but this is just someone who's trying to better their future. But remember, true love always prevails. Okay, tell me more, please. Tell me about Scorpio's person, messages for Scorpio regarding the person. Oh my God, look what just happened. Like, I don't even need a third card. This is one of your soulmates, but you guys, look, they're focusing on finances and career. I, I swear, this is... I'm telling you, this is exactly it. You guys are connecting with someone that, especially if they're a fire sign or earth sign, that's going to take precedent, okay? This is someone you may have had a short time with, um, and you or and or you may connect with them during the holiday time, okay? What's the next holiday, like Easter? Or maybe the holiday season, because it did say a year or two, year and a half, okay? Um, but there is potential there, okay? So let's go ahead and get some more messages for Scorpio regarding their person. Seashell protection. Yeah, I feel like this is someone working working on their protection. Um, I feel like this connection is very protected. Depressed, attached, unemotional, gray. Someone has been feeling this way. It could definitely be them. I feel like this is someone who is unemotional right now and has detached themselves from you. You may not know that they're going through depression, but this is someone trying to build a name for themselves. Oh gosh, that just flew out. It says chills, confirmation. I hope this gave someone chills. I hope this, this reading gave someone the confirmation that they needed. And while you guys are at it, can you do me a favor if you made it to 
this point of the reading. Um, and if you vibed with me, please like and subscribe. Less than half my viewers are subscribers, okay? And it would really help my little channel. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want a personal reading where I go more precisely into your situation, that information can be found down below. Um, I wish you guys love and light always, and I will catch you on your next video. Bye, Scorpio.